And we know that the family is in enormous pain right now as one of his aunts suffered a stroke while at the airport coming to, to this funeral. So we just want to keep you all in our prayers. Pray that God continue to strengthen you all and give you all the hope that you all need at this time.
Final viewing. 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 Thank you. 
So that's his mother and his daughter. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Mass of Christian Burial for our brother Danny Blanc. Let us please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, grace and the peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. I bless the body of our brother Danny with the holy water that recalls his baptism. us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. By baptism into the death of Jesus, we were buried together with him, so that just as Jesus was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with Jesus by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day that he was baptized, Danny put on Christ. In the day of the coming of Christ, may he be clothed with glory. A 
and together we sing our entrance song. reading from the book of wisdom the souls the just man though he die early shall be at rest for the age that is honorable comes not with the passing of time nor can it be measured in terms of years. Rather, understanding is the hoary crown for men and an unsolid life, the attainment of old age. He who pleased God was loved. He who lived among sinners was transported, snatched away, lest wickedness perverted his mind or deceit beguile his soul. For the witchery of paltry things obscures what is right, and the world of desire transforms the innocent mind. Having become perfect in a short while, he reached the fullness of a long career. 
for his soul was pleased to the Lord. Therefore he spared him out of the midst of wickedness. But the people saw and did not understand, nor did they take this into account. The word of the Lord.
are reading from the first letter of John. See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know is that it does not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do not know what then it is when it is revealed, but we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. On one occasion, Jesus said, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As our sister Doric was placing the pall, that white cloth that covers the coffin, it's called a pall, P-A-L-L. As she was placing the pall on the coffin, I smiled. Yeah, why? Because many bodies are rolled here in many different coffins and caskets. Different personalities, different people, and different states of life people from all walks of life come right here and it doesn't matter what type of coffin or casket you are in during the beginning of the ceremony that coffin or that casket is covered with the pall so during the ceremony all you see is the pall And I am thinking, and I smile because of it. In the eyes of God, 
the type of coffin or casket you have doesn't matter and that is symbolized by the pole or with the pole covering the casket or the coffin so it doesn't matter how much money is under there all we see is the pole in the eyes of the Lord we are all the same we are all the same Yesterday, we were here as well, and it was a different vibe. It was a different vibe. But Takuma is no different from everybody else who's come here. And nobody else who's come here is so different than he is or was. In the eyes of God, we are all covered under the pall. We are all equal. Hmm. Thank God for God. There was a priest who used to say that. Thank God for God. He's about the Hmm. If it wasn't for God, ah, some people would stay down, some would go up, based on you know what. Yes, 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 yes. But God does not discriminate. God is no discriminator. He is a just God. He gives to each person as he or she deserves. And his strength, his power is in mercy. Human beings are the exact opposite. <laughs> we are not sometimes very merciful. We are harsh. We can be cold. We can be brutal. But God is a merciful God. His strength is mercy. He doesn't treat us according to our faults. Merci, mon Dieu, pour ça. Merci, mon Dieu, pour ça. So in the eyes of God, right now, <laughs> Takuma is a different man. He's a very different person. Not as the way we saw him on earth over the last few years. No, he's a different man. In the eyes of God now. Very different man. He has seen Jesus and things are different. The first reading from the book of wisdom talks about death in a different way. In a different way. Talks about the just man dying early and those who see that, not understanding what is happening. But the writer of the book of wisdom says, the just person who dies early, Kuma died at 46, it's a young age. The just person who dies early is sped out of wickedness. That is what the writer of the book of wisdom says. Is sped out of wickedness, so that wickedness does not corrupt his mind. So people who are looking at that will say, Hey, last month, Jay, he died. But in the heavenly realm, that is a whole different ballgame. So sometimes you see when people die, we have to be careful how we see that kind of death. Especially, Simun Sazo Inosa. He who pleased God was loved. He who lived among sinners was transported, snatched away, lest wickedness pervert his mind or deceit beguile his soul. Corruption, that, that's corruption. God spears the innocent soul from corruption. That's a gift. Because ultimately, God wants our salvation. He wants our salvation. The salvation of our soul. Yes. And so the writer of the book of wisdom, the word of God says, that person shall be at rest. Thank God for God. Merci bon Dieu, bon Dieu. Yes. And when we see how God is doing his business, sometimes we are tempted to get angry with God or to get upset. My granny always used to say, Kite bon Dieu fait travail. Let the Lord 
do his work. Let the Lord do his work. He's a man who you would see him but you will not hear him much. A quiet fellow. A quiet man. Nowadays we need more of that in our community. Silence and quiet. Nuka pale to Nuka fetok twain. We make too much noise. It is too noisy. I was sharing that with the church on Wednesday. It is too noisy. Our country has become too noisy. And this is not an accident. It is not. In silence, in quiet, in the life like that, you are able to reflect and meditate. You are able to pray. In silence and quiet, the Lord speaks to the soul. The soul speaks to the Lord. Yes, yes. yes. Pali and twin. We cannot hear the Lord in noise. No, we hear the Lord in quiet, in peace. We could emulate our brother in that regard. To spend more time in quiet and peace. He was a man, despite his challenges, who was independent. Independent. Didn't like to take things from people. Mm -mm. That was not him. It's true. Of course it's true. <laughs> he didn't like to take things from people. And if anybody had to take something from somebody, it was Takuma. It's almost as if he was qualified to take things from you. But he refused. He didn't like it. He wanted to work with his hands. We could emulate that from the brother. Nowadays, it's like that has gone out the window. Yes. It's like that has gone out the window. Dominica used to be a people of hard working ability. People who fought for what they wanted. To have I wed and get what you want. I tell mercy, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. You have already, but you still want more. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. See, same way. It's a man who it's as if he it's like he deserved handouts. He deserved handouts, you would say, in a matter of speaking. But no, he didn't want it. He part of lay because he had his hands. So he would do what he had to do. And even if he was selling you something and you would give him $20 if the thing is worth $10 and you tell him, keep the change. You don't want the change. He give it back to you. He doesn't want the change. Tell him, hold the $10 change. No, that $10 is yours. Look it back. He doesn't want it. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't want it. I have to work for that extra $10. Ah, if only we can emulate that as a nation, as a people. Dominica would be further. Yeah, yeah, Dominica would be further. We get by, we excel by working hard, by putting our mind and our hands and our gifts to the plow. That is how we get ahead, not by hand out. <laughs> yes, he wanted that priest. That priest always saying thing in the church. <laughs> but I guarantee you, whatever I say is not lie. Say <laughs> Pamati, you can say what you want. You say, I like to say what I want, I like to say things, but I never come up here and lie to you. I never come up here and lie to you. No, that would be a corruption of the gospel. And I cannot do that. I, I am afraid of God. You're crazy? I don't get God to strike me down. Awa. Mm -mm. For when I go to sleep, I don't get up. Awa. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, 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 no. No. So we can emulate those things from the brother. I just wanted to share that first part with you. The, the way that, that he lived his life, the fact that he lived in silence and peace, 
he would do his business, no guamanima. You're not hearing him, you're just seeing him doing his thing. All right? And he did not accept hand out from anybody. No. He worked for it and earned his way. Earned his way. Now, it doesn't mean that if you need help, you don't ask for help, you know. Ah, you, we all need help from time to time. But if you are making the handout mentality your life, it means you are greedy and lazy. Yes. Be careful, eh? Be careful, be careful, be careful. Right? Thank God for God. Thank God for God. Thank God that God makes it equal for all of us. He's a just God. And he invites all of us to be part of his kingdom. Yes. God wants all of us to be part of his kingdom. Nobody should be excluded. That is not God's plan. No matter how you are or who you are, all are invited to be part of God's kingdom. Every time someone dies, eh? every time someone dies, I am reminded of something. I am reminded of our heavenly citizenship. Yes, heavenly citizenship. Nowadays, we're talking about citizenship a lot these days, right? Citizenship. Death should remind us of our heavenly citizenship. Why? Because death reminds us of how brief life on earth is. Life on earth is very brief. Takuma is ahead of us. But we are to follow just now. And not far from now, you know. No. <laughs> we would like to live to 110. And to be sexy to 110. Okay. We always start getting wrinkled just now and gray hair. No matter how much you diet, it's still gray under there. Okay? Death reminds us that life on earth is brief. And that it should tell us about what happens next. Because if this life is so brief, what happens after it ends? What happens to Takuma now? Hmm. So let us talk about citizenship. Citizenship. We know about the CBI program, right? Yes. yes. The Citizenship by Investment program. Passports, money. All right. <laughs> Citizenship by investment. Well, our program, ours, is a different type of program. It is a citizenship program, but it is not the CBI. It is the CBA. Citizenship by adoption. Citizenship by adoption. You think I lie in it right in the Bible? You must read your Bible. Citizenship by adoption. St. Paul talks about this in Romans 8 from verse 14. Romans 8 from verse 14. The word of God says, For you did not receive the spirit of slavery, to fall back into fear. But you have received the spirit of sonship when we cry, Abba, Father. Hmm? We have received the spirit of sonship when we cry, Abba, Father. It is the spirit himself bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. We heard it in the second reading. We are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. We are children of God by adoption. Children of God by adoption. So we are citizens of heaven by adoption. The CBA program, not the CBI. The CBI involves money. This one involves no money at all. It's free. It has been paid for by the death of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus has already paid for our citizenship. It is free. That is why when people come and ask for 
spiritual services and they say, how much for you, Father? I say, don't even go there. Because you cannot afford that. You cannot afford that. You cannot afford to pay me for a spiritual service. You cannot afford to pay me for a blessing. No. That has already been paid for on the cross by the blood of Jesus. And now we participate in that by adoption. Citizenship by adoption. That is a very serious citizenship. Very serious citizenship. And this business of citizenship is important. Yes. What does this heavenly citizenship look like? If you have your Bible, stood with me to Psalm 15. Psalm 15 tells us what this heavenly citizenship looks like. It's a short psalm, but it's a powerful psalm. Psalm 15. The word of God says, O Lord, who, who shall sojourn in your tent? Who shall live in your tent? Who shall live with you? Who shall live with you? Who shall share that citizenship with you? Who shall dwell on your holy mountain? Citizenship by adoption. Verse 2, Psalm 15. He who walks blamelessly and does what is right. And speaks truth from his heart. He who does not slander with his tongue. Who does no evil to his friend. Not takes a reproach against his neighbor. In whose eyes a reprobate is despised. But who honors those who fear the Lord. Who swears to his own hurt and does not change. Who does not put out his money at interest. And does not take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be moved. Such a person is a citizen of heaven by adoption. Let us break that down. Adopted children of God. Heirs of the kingdom. Co-heirs with Christ. In other words, what God owns is ours too. Yes. What God owns, what belongs to God, also belongs to us. By virtue of the fact that we have a heavenly passport. Citizenship by adoption. But, but... Just because we have this passport, citizenship by adoption, doesn't mean we get to keep the passport forever, no matter what. No. Psalm 15 tells us what we have to do to keep that passport. So you say, well, I have my citizenship. I don't care. They can't throw me nowhere. Well, in that citizenship program, you can be thrown out. You can be thrown out. Yes. You throw your own self out. Not because you didn't pay, because you cannot pay. But because you don't do what is required of the citizen. What is required of the citizen? To walk blamelessly. Walk blamelessly, do what is right, and speak the truth. Speak the truth. Pa lave with pa mati. Pa mati. Speak the truth. Do what is right. Walk blamelessly. Do what is right. You know, a lot of people have a problem with that. With people doing what is right. With people saying what is right. With people speaking the truth. But let me encourage you. Let me exhort you. Let me urge you. Always do that. Because... You want to keep your heavenly citizenship. That is the key. To keep your heavenly citizenship. If you lose your heavenly citizenship, you're in trouble. Our Dominica passport, or US passport, or European passport, whatever passport you have, once you reach in the coffin, that passport no longer matters. That passport expires once you reach there. That passport doesn't qualify you to go up there. You need a heavenly passport. Citizenship by adoption. Hmm? Walk blamelessly. Do what is right and speak the truth from your heart. Speak the truth. Sometimes people don't like to hear the truth. 
but you must always speak the truth. What else does heavenly citizenship look like? What does a passport holder of heaven do? The heavenly citizenship, the one who owns that and holds that, is a good neighbor. A good neighbor. You have to be a good neighbor. And a good neighbor doesn't gossip about his neighbors. A good neighbor doesn't spread propaganda about his or her neighbors. No. A good neighbor doesn't look to make trouble in the neighborhood. No. <laughs> if you are a citizen of heaven and you intend to keep that citizenship, you have to be a good neighbor. In other words, to do to others the same thing you would like done to you. Yes. If you don't want it to be done to you, parfait. Parfait. Don't do it to somebody else. Don't do it to somebody else. Do it only if you would like it to be done to you. That's being a good neighbor. That's being a citizen of heaven. What else does the citizen of heaven do? Heavenly citizenship. If you want to keep that. It means you have to value people because of their virtue. Not because of their possessions. You have to value people because of their virtue. Because of the goodness of their heart. Because they are made in the image and likeness of God. You don't value people because of what they have and what they can give you. Yes. Yes. The saying goes that you love people and use things. Hmm? Love people and use things. But, uh, boy, the world nowadays, that shall be way. We love things and we use people. Mm -mm. <laughs> it shouldn't be. So we don't value people because of what they have. So no go No go so-and-so. Mr. So and so. But they sit up and come and say, Boy, come on there, boy. Come on there, boy. Come on there. Come on there. Because it's Takuma. But if Takuma had a five story building in Roseau, hmm? and he had his suit, and he could open his jacket in front of you, say, Good afternoon, Mr. Takuma. <laughs> How can I help you, sir? No, no, don't, don't, I'll go for that for you, sir. I'll go for that for you. It's okay, you can stay there. But when you don't have to say, well, come on, there, boy. Uh, oh, yeah. Troubling people. Thank God for God. Thank God for God. We value people because of their virtue, not because of what they have. That is what the citizen of heaven does. And why is that important? Because when you get to heaven, you will realize that nobody has anything. We are all on the same level. Nobody have a house. What you do if you don't need it there? Nobody have money because up there they have bank and credit union. You don't use earthly currency up there, so you don't need that. All you need is your heart full of praise for God and love for your brothers and sisters. We value people because of their virtue, not because of their possessions. That is what the citizen of heaven does. The citizen of heaven also does something else. He or she keeps his or her word. Keep your word. Keep your promise. If you say you're going to do something, do it. That is called trustworthiness. So people can trust you. If you say, I'll be there, then be there. If you say, I won't be there, then don't be there. If you say, I'm going to give this to you, then give it. Don't give it and take it back. Or give it and weep or shake. Because a nail will come out in your eyes. <laughs> Keep your word. The citizen of heaven keeps his word. Keep your word. We see all of that in Psalm 15. And finally, the citizen of heaven is just and generous. Just and generous. And we mentioned that earlier. The citizen of heaven is not a greedy person. The citizen of heaven is easy to let go things 
because you realize in heaven you own nothing. So you're easy to let it go. And when it's easy for you to let it go, it means you are ready to die, you know. Yeah, your heart is free. I own nothing. Nothing have me down there. Nothing have me cramped. My hands are free. My heart is free. Lord, when you're ready, you can take me. But when you are greedy, when you are not generous, and you hold on to plenty things, you are afraid to die. Who pay more? And you lie down on your bed, lag on me, but you wonder who going to get the house. You live about drips. Who going to get the house? You pass a memo. Piece of tomato. Mm. What's a more automatic? The Lord is waiting for you, but you don't want to go because you have so much thing, you don't want to let it go. It's called attachment. Hmm? Attachment. You're attached. The citizen of heaven is detached. Your hands are free. Your heart is free. And when your hands are free, it is easy to be generous. It's easy to be generous. I remember Rosie. Rosie used to talk about that, you know. Ruth used to say, if I get 10,000 today, I give the same 10,000 away. Because tomorrow I'll get 20,000. <laughs> that is free. Mm. Yes. My question to you is this, brothers and sisters. Which passport do you own? Which passport do you own? <laughs> Which passport do you own? Many of us have passports. I have. But which one is in the top drawer? <laughs> which one do you value the most? The c <laughs> Citizenship by adoption, the CBA program. Make sure you are part of that. If you're not part of that, make sure you are part of that. You have no excuse if you're not part of that because it is free. And it is the most important of all the programs. Jesus has already paid for that program for you. All you have to do is collect your passport. But when you collect your passport, make sure you keep your passport. Keep your passport by walking blamelessly, doing what is right, speaking the truth from your heart. Keep your passport by being a good neighbor. Not by being a bad neighbor. No. That's a citizen of the other side. Be a good neighbor. Keep your passport by valuing people because of their virtue, not of their possessions. Not because of what they have, but because of who they are. Keep your passport by keeping your word, being trustworthy. And keep your passport, your heavenly passport, by being generous. Not being greedy, by being a just and generous giver. My brother Takuma, May the Lord look upon your virtue, your kindness, your generosity, your silence and peace. And may he reward you with eternal life. We thank God for God. We thank God for God. And Lord, if we do not have that passport yet, if we are not part of that CBA program, Move us quickly. May we move with haste to register tonight in our room on our, on our knees asking for forgiveness for our sins and asking to be part of the program. Immediately. Right now. At Trelma, come on, Kapalila. And then make sure you sign tonight by your bed as you kneel down. Sign the form tonight. So, Father, help us to move with haste to be part of your heavenly program. For this is what you desire for all of us, that we not be lost, but that every one of us be saved. In Jesus' name, amen.
Let us stand to pray. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and he sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. In baptism, Danny received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now, Father, and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Our brother Danny was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, hear us. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, hear us. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly these sins against your love, and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, give rest and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. The family and friends of our brother seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain, Father. Dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for the soul of our brother Danny. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. Lord our God, giver of peace and healer of souls. Hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
So that should any state of sin have come to him, or any human fault have affected him, it may by your loving gift be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be <clears throat> given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gabriel, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Danny, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign.
we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our mortal bodies to conform with his glorified body. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant, Danny, who has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. sins he committed through human weakness and in your goodness father grant him everlasting peace we ask this through christ our lord Amen. in peace let us take our brother to his place of rest takuma may choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of abraham and where lazarus is poor no longer may you find eternal rest amen
So we are in the beautiful community of Grand Bay. You can see the uh, mountain behind us. And you can see the 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 reconstruction of the chapel they have finally cleared up the inside and you can see the well-kept grounds of the Grand Bay Cemetery and we're going all the way on the top for Takuma <laughs> I can't even cry because everybody's crying and I'm so cool. Okay, so I'm trying to feel it, you know. Come on, you talk about trying to make it. No, it's not. All right, come, Vina, come, Vina, come, 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 there. come, there. come, there. come, 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 All right. I am all right, safe. Oh, yeah. And that, that rope there, that's where I think it is. Because that one more tight than that one, right? Then they will pull that. No, more more that. I do more that. Okay? All right, go ahead. Okay. 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 So we have some family members still approaching, as you can see. You can see the beautiful little sign, the coffin. Brother Benin has gone to his rest in the peace of Jesus Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. 
Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. We read in sacred scripture, our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. All praise to you, Lord of all creation. Praise to you, holy and living God. We praise and bless you for your mercy. We praise and bless you for your kindness. Blessed is the Lord of God. You sanctify the homes of the living and make holy the places of the dead. You alone open the gates of righteousness and you lead us to the dwellings of the saints. Blessed is the Lord our God. We praise you, our refuge and strength. We bless you, our God and Redeemer. Your praise is always in our hearts and on our lips. We remember the mighty deeds of the covenant. Blessed is the Lord our God. Almighty and ever-living God, remember the mercy with which you graced your servant Danny in this life. Receive him, we pray, into the mansions of the saints. As we make ready our brother's resting place, look also with favor on those who mourn and comfort them in their loss. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our brother Danny from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his body in glory, for he is risen the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our brother to the Lord, and the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. Our Father, who art in heaven, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. God of holiness, God of power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant, Danny. Do not count his deeds against him, for in his heart he desired to do your will. As his faith united him to your people on earth, so may your mercy join him to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. And let the light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, yes. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. Go in the peace of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Forever. And as his mother went to the last act of love.
Alright.
That's his mom laying across the flower shaped a reef in the shape of a cross.
So once again, on behalf of Emma News, we sympathize with the family members. We know what you are going through is not easy at all. So this is the final resting place of Takuma, Dan Joseph, also known as Takuma. We sympathize with his mom, his only daughter, and of course his other family members and friends. And we afternoon. We are so thank you for choosing him and you. And we are about to say Mami. goodbye. I'll give you one last look of the grave and then we'll say goodbye. No, but I don't want to get no, no, you can see I'm coming back. So this is the final resting place once again. Beautifully decorated, beautiful pictures and reefs. Beautiful flowers and reefs. Beautiful flowers and reefs. The final resting place of Tacoma Dani Joseph of Randy. Once again, we say goodbye and thanks for joining Emo News. And once again, we say bye. You want to say No, I'm in a picture. We, the family of Danny Blanc, would like to thank everyone those who sent flowers, cards, prayers, those who visited our homes, those who supported us in one way or another. We want to say a special thank you to the parish priest who showed up and surprised us today. Yes. We thank him very much for that and we received the word that he gave. We thank everyone, all of our viewers from St. Thomas. Thank you for Alleluia. viewing. We give God thanks. Amen. We give him prayer as well. We bless his name, Father God. We say thank you for the weather. It holds up quite nicely. And give everyone traveling mercies, those who travel away from Granby. Father God, we thank you for blessing us. We thank you for this day. Father, even in the sad situation, we give you all the praise, God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the mod. Thank you for the mod. Special thank you to everyone. Thank you for everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank